Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I wanna do a video today on a little motivational video for you guys, because I think a lot of people need motivation in this day and age where it seems like everything is coming apart uh, left and right around us. Um, but I wanna remind you of why I started this channel. And that was to show you opportunities where most people would not even guess that there are opportunities. And about being prepared to take advantage of those opportunities when the, uh, opportunity arises, all right? So I've got a quote right here uh, that I really like. Hope is being able to see that there is light despite of all the darkness. Despite all the darkness, there is light, all right? And that is really the key of this. When we're talking about economic cycles, we're talking about understanding, first off, why they exist, when they happen, right? And we don't always know the day or the hour, but we do know the seasons when they happen, okay? And uh, if anybody tells you they know exactly what date something's gonna turn, they're, they're just lying to you. They're lying to themselves, okay? Sometimes people hit it, I've seen it happen, but then all of a sudden they just don't hit it and it's not worth beating them themselves up or, or them beating themselves up over it. It's just, it's just life, okay? We don't, if anyone t claims to be a guru, I would literally run from them. They, they take me as an example. I don't get it right all the time either, but I wanna try and at least hit the averages, right? Okay. So hope, there's so many people right now that are losing hope, they're, they're acting in fear. Now I believe that fear is an excellent motivator, all right? Uh, Noah built an ark because he, he believed that there was a flood coming and if he didn't build the ark, you know, he was gonna be part of the uh, situation too. And I, so I think fear is a great motivator. Fear is what got me into um, investing in sound money. Um, and really when, when you, you put the knowledge to work, you actually start to build wealth really fast. And so I wanna bring silver into this and, uh, and cryptos too. Um, a lot of people uh, right now are just, especially on this channel, they're starting to learn that it doesn't matter what your net worth is or what you've done in the past. You might've been worth a ton and lost it all, or maybe you've never had a lot of money. You've never been able to scrape a couple dimes together. But today I'm teaching you and I wanna show you through my past experiences, how you can put down that six bucks Starbucks coffee and go buy a couple of silver dimes. Uh, a piece of metal that was once used as currency that just over time seems to keep going up in price. Over time, now I get it, there's a lot of people that go, hey Ninja, silver uh, hasn't gone anywhere in X amount of years. Well, I think that's pretty small-minded thinking. See, the fact of the matter is, once you hold a piece of silver, right, or you own $50 in Bitcoin, um, and that's just an arbitrary number. You can own $5 in Bitcoin if you wanted to, but usually the fees will just eat you up. Once you hold that in your hand, you now own something that nobody can take away. Unless you do something stupid, you leave it sitting out on the counter, or you give somebody your private keys when it comes to crypto, nobody can take it away. There is no third party uh, uh, attached to that. There's no debt attached to it. It's not used as collateral somewhere, okay? Hopefully you don't get yourself in that situation. But the fact is, you go put down that $6 Starbucks coffee or whatever you're spending your money on, right? Or you go into your garage and you go, look at all this crap I've accumulated that I don't even use. Jesus, what's that big old, you know, stuffed animal that I won at a fair that literally cost me like 50 bucks in tokens to impress that girl and I'm not even dating the girl and I still got this big old stuffed animal in here. Sell it, right? Get rid of that crap. And then you go hold yourself a couple of coins in your hand, or you got some Bitcoin sitting on your wallet on your mobile phone, and you own the private keys, and you go, nobody can take that away from me. To me, that's hope, right? Because as those stacks keep getting larger and larger, there's light at the end of the tunnel. You see, because as you recognize all these bad things that are happening in the world, and you go, this can't be good. These shutdowns can't, can't, you know, the economy can't sustain itself when restaurants are told they gotta close and they can open at half, then they gotta close again. You know, uh, hey, you know, renters, you don't gotta pay your landlord's rent, all that kind of stuff. You're like, that's not good. It's gonna lead to something bad. But when that bad thing happens, because you've slowly been accumulating something that's real and tangible and it's in your hands, you are gonna be able to take advantage of the fact that lots of people didn't do what you did. They leveraged themselves to the hilt. They, uh, even people that believe we're gonna have hyperinflation, they're running out and getting tons of debt and getting in debt right now because they think they're gonna game the system. I'm telling you right now, a lot of them are going to lose because they are not gonna be able to stay um, solvent longer than the, uh, the markets can stay irrational, all right? So I wanted to bring you this word of hope. And I think it's so very uh, important. If you guys don't mind, if you made it this far in the video, uh, 
put a hashtag motivation in the uh, in the, uh, the the comment section because I want to get these uh, words of hope and excitement um, out there because it doesn't matter how long it takes for this market to crash. As a matter of fact, the longer it takes, the better off you are because as you're saving for it, that means you get to save more and more. And all the time I hear people, let's just get this over with. I want this done. And that is small minded thinking. I'm going to tell you right now, my goal is to own a hundred single family homes as this next correction happens. And there's a lot of tool bags out there that would get on the comment section and say, well, that's just greedy of you. I'm like, well, you're an idiot. I'm motivated. You may not, you may hide under this, uh, the guise of, of you know, being humble and patient. Well, I'm a good person and I'm a good landlord and I would be great at owning and managing 100 homes. And that's my goal. And we all have to have goals. And your goals might not be my goals. You might think, oh man, Ninja's got a big goal, right? Some of you might go, Ninja, you ain't thinking big enough. You're absolutely right. We're all different and there's nothing wrong with that. As long as everybody on this channel is growing and succeeding and then taking that success and sharing it with others, then I've done my job. All right, guys, I hope you got something out of this. If you don't mind sharing this video anywhere you can, I think people need to get the message and we need to get it out to them fast because things are moving. So be ready, don't be afraid, everything is awesome. There is light at the end of the tunnel and no, it's not a train. With that being said, the Economic Ninja is out. <laughs>